How's everybody doing out there today? It's Milian, a perfectionist, perfect sound studio. Um, give you guys a real quick hint of a real quick tip, I mean, of how to import your audio really quickly from a session that you already uh, put in Pro Tools. You already exported the beat. You got everything in there. So real quick, if you did like I did and <laughs> had the session already going and say, you know what, I need to add something else to it. Instead of opening up machine again and bouncing it and then bringing it in or importing it, real quick tip here. Um, so I got the song already up and as I listened to it, I said, you know what? I just want to add some robot hi hats to it really quick. I got the session open. I don't want to open up machine again and then export it and do all that. So what I'll do, stop that and add an instrument track really quick here. And then we'll bring machine inside the session. Right. How's everybody doing out there today too? I just want to make sure everybody's doing good. You having a good day? Enjoy some music. Beautiful outside today here. All right, so let's find a really quick um, drum kit. Okay, there we go. And the thing about the reason why I like to open it up in Pro Tools, automatically you see this machine open up, it's going to automatically sync to the tempo. You got 147 in Pro Tools, it's 147 there. Uh, you got uh, the loop just right there, so it's going to automatically loop. You don't have to set anything or change anything, it's just automatically conforms right to the session. That's a good thing, so. So I found a hi-hat, just to make it roll really quick. Let's see here. That's all I want to do. Something simple like that. All right, let's see here now. All right, so, um, for this, you're definitely going to need to have a stereo track created for it, an audio stereo track. We created the instrument track, and that's where machine is, but created a um, stereo track if you don't have another one there. And just to show you here, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to bring the machine up a little bit. I know this part of the screen is here. But you have this little waveform, and what that does, that's going to convert your audio, your, your, your MIDI notes to audio signal. So... We're going to bring this here. And just so you can see it, I'll do it over here. Hold it down, let it export. And bring it right in. Let's see, it didn't look like it would did the whole thing, so let's hold it down again and make sure. There we go. All right, so now we will mute the machine or bypass it so that way you won't hear that. And we have your audio right there. Take it, duplicate it, stretch it out, put it wherever you want to in the track. Uh, now you also have machine in the session. So you can keep machine in there if you want to have, um, just if you want to use it for any other inserts that you want to add to it, uh, put another instrument in there or anything like that, keep it in the session. You can close it out. You don't necessarily need it in a session anymore, but real quick for you, show you how to do it. Brings it in and out, makes it real simple. Takes all of two, three minutes. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Like it, subscribe to it. There'll be a lot more where this can from, okay? Have a good one.